Hello guys, welcome to my channel Oratrix and this is a video series of Oracle Apex Development 20.2. So we are continuing our last video and in which we have seen how to create a table. So after creating a table we might require some data or raw data you know so instead of uh, every time you need to fire the insert query or you can you know use a form also to uh, insert data into that but we have certain solution for that and we can have uh, multiple data items to store uh, simultaneously so let us understand i have created a demo data for you so uh, currently we have only uh, let's say for example uh, 10 or 12 columns were there okay 11 columns we have but now for example if i'm just uh, uh, not creating any mistake then you can have multiple data over here right so you can have uh, as many columns as you uh, want then let's understand that uh, so if I'm making any repetition in this one so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay uh, if I'm making any changes in this one so it will not accept it right so let us uh, create a series now so that we can have multiple data so our uh, uh, column name this mobile will not be repeated but this can be repeated as many as time okay so i have uh, repeated the columns let me just delete this one so we have almost 50 plus data now and uh, for this data we can have multiple columns so we are just taking this example right so that uh, you could understand that uh, how we can enter the data in this one so i have stored this uh, file as a csv format and now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to import all the data into our uh, this uh, apex uh, underscore 2020 demo table as you can see currently in the last video we have inserted one column uh, one row in this one so but now what we need is that we want to import all the data which has been here uh, now if we uh, let's see lump sum is that's 54 uh, data is there so ultimately we will have a uh, 55 rows over here so let's understand how we can do this one so first you need to clear uh, click on this load data so keep in mind that we have already created a sequence that will take care of everything for us so just click on load data either you can drag and drop the uh, XML file or you can see this uh, supported format is uh, CSV you can have the XLS you can have TXT you can have uh, XML or JSON and you can have copy paste also right but we are going to use this one upload a uh, file so let me choose this uh, choose file and it would be data and let me open this one so it it will load the data for us okay uh, okay seven columns have been added right so let me click on this uh, load data so as you can see that 54 new rows has been added right so from here you can go for a new create application where you can have a new application in which you can have reports and forms and etc but we time being we just want to see that uh, whether the data has been inserted successfully or not so if we go to the table and data and as you can see that all the data has been inserted successfully right so this uh, we have our next column here but uh, instead we can have uh, you know just copy this one and from the SQL command you can fire your basic queries like let me select star from apex table and here you need to select the rows so let me i'll be choosing 500 and run it okay so as you can see that all the data has been populated as you can see so total 55 rows return in 0.1 second 0.01 second in fact right so this is the way to uh, you know you don't need to worry about inserting the data all the time you just need to create an uh, uh, like excel file like this one as I've created and you can have a raw data like uh, just create five to four proper data and you just need to copy and paste that data and you just need to uh, worry about the uh, column names which you have uh, uh, created as a unique constraint or some constraint that you have provided you just need to worry about that 
so this we can do with the isolated tables only uh, it's very tough to you know uh, execute this one when you have a parent child relationship so uh, keep this thing in your mind whenever you are importing your data right so this is one of the easiest way to import the data into this oracle application express okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video